Guys, I'm back with another video for you today, and this is my big ass, mostly designer, fragrance haul. And I'm gonna reveal to you what I've picked up recently, mostly in this box, but some loose ones here, all coming right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. And let's get right to it. So I just picked up a bunch of fragrances from some stores and I also placed a big order from an online discounter. I don't wanna uh, name names at this time, just uh, an online discounter of fragrances. And I wanted to just reveal to you what I picked up. There's a lot of fragrances here and the bulk of the fragrances here, I guess, I'm not gonna say prices, but you'll, we'll add them up for you. But there's a lot here, so let's get right to it. There's a lot of designer fragrances here in this box, and unfortunately, when I placed the order, a few of them got this uh, canceled. They canceled it on me, and they refunded the money because they weren't able to ship it because I requested a two-day shipping. Um, like, I paid extra for the shipping. Um, so two items were not sent. I ordered a large bottle tester of Dior Homme Cologne, and I also ordered a new tester unused. Actually, I've run out of my Fougere Royale from Vubagant. So unfortunately, those are not in this box. But uh, let's go ahead and open up and let me show you what I've got in this box. There's a lot. It's pretty heavy. And uh, let's go ahead and open up one of the testers. So this is a tester for Gucci Pour Homme 2. So I usually buy Gucci, well, actually, I usually buy testers because they're cheaper. And so um, I wanted to pick this one up because I haven't had it for a while. And unfortunately, the testers do not have a cap, but I have a cap laying around, but I think this is a small one. I know it's 100 mil, so I have a bottle of, of this one currently, and uh, I'll use the cap from that. But uh, I wanted to have this one again because I really like this one. It's a tea. It's classy. It's uh, very easy to wear. Nothing wow, like it's not like something that projects heavily, but it sits pretty nicely on the body, and uh, I like that about it. So it's Gucci Pour Homme 2, and uh, a pretty lovely fragrance. Now I wanted to pick up all these fragrances also because I wanted to do a review for some of them, and some of them I'm actually gonna probably share with a few folks, decants and things like that. But this one I really love. I'll use the cap from the previous bottle and put it on here. So Gucci Pour Homme 2. These go get thrown away, unfortunately. So I wanted to pick up Guerlain Om, this one right here. So Guerlain Om is not L'Homme Ideal, but Guerlain Om is a fragrance that came out, like I think it came out in the 2000s, I can't quite remember. But I've been wanting this one and I finally have it, and this is currently in their new bottles, uh, the uniform bottles that are kind of looking like um, the vetiver fragrance bottles. So this, actually the cap is the dark cap. And this one, um, it's a woody fragrance with citruses, I think. I'm gonna spray this one on. But there was, yeah, yeah, totally. It's woody and citrusy, but very, very classy, masculine. And this is the EDP version, so I quite like this one. Um, it'll be put to use. Uh, Guerlain Homme, do you know this one, guys? Have you tried it? I like the color of the juice. They're kind of trying to match the color of the, the cap, I think. But it smells great, it smells really, really lovely. So Guerlain Homme in EDP. Perhaps I'll do a review of this one as well because I've never reviewed that one. Now here, the very popular, now these are all designers I'm talking about. So um, the designers are very popular and this is La Nuit La Homme from YSL. And I picked up the large one. Again, we're gonna split some uh, with some friends and relatives. And my nephew really loves this one, so I'm gonna give him probably um, maybe one third of it. But La Nuit La Homme, I wanted to also review, and I had a review of this one on the previous channel comparing it to uh, L'Anvin um, Avant Garde. So that video is no longer, perhaps maybe I'll air a clip of it somewhere here and there, but I found them to be very similar. But this one's such a popular fragrance. And this is the 200 ml bottle, but really, really great price for it, I found. And um, so I had to get it because, yeah, I wanted to do another video about it. So this is La Nuit Lhomme. And lately I've been really digging cardamom in fragrances, and this is all about cardamom. I'm going to spray this one on because it's been a while since I've worn it. I don't have my 
previous bottle of it, and uh, we'll put this one to use. I find this one to be probably the best one out of the Lone, the Lone series from YSL, and I think it's one of the ones that smells the best. I really love this one, actually. It's the cardamom that I love, and I'm finally glad I have it again, as I had gotten rid of the bottle before, but now I have it. Very, very great fragrance. Very, very classy masculine. You'll start probably seeing this on lists, uh, on my fragrance list in the future. So, La Nuit Lomme by YSL is another one I picked up. Well, speaking of YSL, I had to pick up another one of these because I recently did pick up one and I really loved it so much. Rive Gauche for Homme, the new bottle. Um, it's a Fougere barbershop fragrance. I'm not going to open up this one because I already have one and um, uh, I featured it in some videos, but this one's really, really lovely. Um, it's a, it's a, it's a not as good as the canister, re well, I'll open it up. It's not as good as the canister one that uh, everybody loves, and I, I love the canister one, but they've redone it, reformulated it, and they've put them in uniform bottles. The entire YSL uh, classic men's fragrances are in uh, bottles like this, right there. Reeve Gauche, if you don't know this one, this is great. It's a great barbershop scent, it's a great fougere. Very classy, very masculine. Uh, utilizing uh, lavender, oak moss, and tonka beans. So that's why I sell Reeve Gauche. Backup bottle of Fahrenheit Le Parfum. Now this is one of my favorite designer fragrances. This is by Dior, and I absolutely love this one. And I absolutely love this one as the, uh, the best version of the current uh, slate of Fahrenheit flankers. I'm so glad they did this one because I absolutely love the, the uh, vanilla boozy uh, leather in here and it's, it's also pretty big with the violet as well. Now if you like, if you like uh, Fahrenheit because of the violet, this is not so, like it doesn't have the petroleum kind of like gasoline kind of smell in it, it's more gourmand and cozy. Really lovely fragrance. I'm glad I have another bottle now, uh, a backup, because uh, it's an awesome release from the house of Dior. I would hate to see this one disappear or be discontinued, so good to have a backup. And speaking of backups, again, another Dior fragrance. I did have to get this one. It's Dior Homme Parfum. Gotta love this one. Mine was running out again, and um, you have to have this one. It's awesome. It is my favorite designer fragrance, actually. But I'm kind of smelling La Nuit Loam here, and I'm really loving the way it smells. I'm really, really happy I have this one. Uh, it's a great scent, uh, lots of great cardamom type notes. It also smells a bit like tobacco. I don't know where that's coming from. It's a good designer. Uh, it's a great designer, actually. But going back to Dior Homme Parfum, there it is. Very sexy, leathery, iris. Oh man, this is so good. So, so good. So Dior Homme Parfum, you are one of my favorite releases ever. I just hope this one stays. Please don't reformulate this one. Please don't do anything to it. Keep it the same because I love you so much. All right, so that's Dior Homme Parfum. Glad to have a backup. Um, so speaking of fragrances that I'm starting to re-fall in love with after a while, I had to pick up Givenchy Only Gentleman. Now, why did I pick this one up? I had it. I have a review for it, but I got rid of the bottle. But I kept coming back to it, and I wanted to feature in some videos, designer fragrance videos, and so I wanted to have it. Now, this one kind of reminds me a little bit of um, uh, Spice Bomb from uh, Victor and Rolf, but it's good to have this one. I actually really love the bottle as well, and I think this is probably the best one in this series. Now they have a new series called Gentleman Givenchy, this one is Gentleman Only Givenchy. So, kind of confusing a little bit, but they've kept the same bottles, so maybe it's not really. We'll see. But they do have two, they have a flanker for Gentleman Givenchy now as well, which if I haven't aired the video for it yet, you'll see soon. But good to have this one back because like I said, I got rid of it and I love the bottle and it's, it's a pretty classy scent with a, kind of like a, um, what do you call it, a Victor and Rolf um, spice bomb kind of smell. So that's that. So I had to give Carolina Herrera CH Men because I was missing it, as I said. And I picked up the large one, the 200ml. 
because I am gonna be sharing this with a, a couple of people. And this is a gigantic bottle. It's 200 ml, of course. But this is actually probably one of the better designer fragrances out there. Um, there it is, so big. Big ass bottle, that's why this is a big ass, uh, what do you call it, uh, haul. So this one, um, it's about the sugar and leather. I love that about it. It's leather, but it's a beautiful sugary leather and warm and cozy leather, that's kind of, kind of it is. And I like this one as a designer. It's probably a top 20 designer for sure. I like CHMM Privé a little bit more, but this is probably right up there as well. So Carolina Herrera CHMM is uh, one that I'm glad I have. But this bottle kind of seems flimsy. Um, let me spray this one. It's been a while since I smelled it, but yes, it smells like sugar cane to me. So that's Carolina Herrera CH Men. And speaking of CH Men, CH Men Privé, there's another one. I got rid of my bottle because it got a little funky and uh, they actually credited me. I had bought it from Amazon. So I had to get another one. Um, it became all gooey. So they get, gave me a credit and then I had to pick up another one because this actually I like more. And this is a top 10 designer. So this is CH Men Privé. And the reason I like this one is because of the booziness. I really love the booziness. The only problem is the performance. It's kind of light, but smells gorgeous. I love this one. And as I said, it's a top 10. It kind of actually is like tying with Pure Malt now with uh, Mugler. Um, I don't know why, uh, but this one's smelling a little better than Mugler for some reason, the pure malt. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a shame because I love uh, pure malt, but I think something's wrong with the scent now they reformulated it. I don't know, I can't tell. Or maybe my nose has just changed and it's preferring something newer than older. So anyway, CH Men Privé. So one that I haven't spoken much about and I needed to pick up and do some videos about it is Valentino's Womo, this one right here. So this is the original Valentino Womo. It's kind of in the same ballpark as um, Dior Own line of fragrances because it's got the iris. But this one has hazelnuts and uh, things like that. So I like this one. I have the Intense and I also have the Absolute, the latest one. But the original that started it all is this one right here. It does remind me of Dior Homme, it also reminds me of Prada Lhomme, it also reminds me of a few other fragrances including the new Gentleman Givenchy, uh, EDP. So they're kind of in that same ballpark, it, I guess they're all inspired from one another. But either way, they have their own unique twist to them. And this one is actually great. I like this one, I love the Intense more, but I'm glad I have this one so we can do some videos about it in the future. So this is Valentino Womo. And I wanted to pick this one up because I needed some more gym scents. And this is one that I wear, uh, I like wearing in the gym. The unfortunate part was when I did the review, uh, I had dropped the bottle and it, uh, it kind, of, kind of broke. But this is Calvin Klein's CK2. It was a cheap, it was like $18 or $17. This is a small one and the first one I had bought was the large one. But well, I love to wear this one in the gym. It's ozonic, slightly aquatic with rose. And it's nice, it's nothing groundbreaking. I think they were kind of expecting to have a similar kind of a, uh, what do you call it, um, rece reception with uh, this one like they did with the original CK. I don't think it was there. They were targeting the millennials with this one. But overall, it's a simple fragrance to wear. It's not overly heavy, it's not loud, it's not like a, anything big or uh, very you know, like uh, original, but it's, it's still a pretty nice scent to wear just at the gym because it's not overwhelming. It's fresh and watery, aquatic, ozonic. So CK2, cheapy, like $17 I think is what I paid for it. Um, so a couple of more expensive fragrances and then we're, we're gonna be done and I'll ask you some questions. But one I wanted to pick up for some time and I had never done it, but finally I did because they changed the name. This is, uh, both of the uh, last two fragrances are designers, but they're from the more expensive collections, the private collections. This is Gris Dior. So this used to be called Gris Montaigne. So now they changed the name to Gris Dior. So Gray Dior, Gris stands for uh, um, gray, of course, and uh, gray, Mont gray Mountain, but now it's called Gris Dior. I recently tested it out and compared both of them at um, a store here in San Francisco, and they both smell the same. There's no reformulation. It's just that they just changed Gris Montaigne or Montaigne or Mountain to 
greedy or so. This one right here. So this is a very citrusy oak moss. Uh, classic styling uh, fragrance, but one that I wanted for a while. I'm finally glad to have it. And I love the color of this one. It's purple. And there's a new whole, whole new collection of Dior fragrances that's supposed to hit the Privé stores where they sell the Privé collection soon. It's been out in Europe for a, almost a year, if not a whole year. Um, but the colors of the juices are very similar to this, but lighter and pinker. I'm, I'm not expecting much from them, and I've heard some negative things about them, but this one's good to have. So this is Gris Dior. This one I picked up locally, I didn't order it, but they had a promotion and I took advantage of it. I love promotions, I got a discount on it. So anyway, Gris Dior. Um, last but not least, my tobacco vanille was over and finished, and I had to pick up another black on because I had decanted it and sold it. And uh, so you need a new one to potentially decant and sell and to wear. And when I do these kind of things, um, I also get the atomizers that you, they usually give with these uh, fragrances. So that's um, tobacco vanille. And I love this one because it's, um, of course it's tobacco vanille, it's vanilla and tobacco. It's very delicious. Uh, it's very, I don't know, just beefy and strong um, fragrance that I absolutely love wearing in the winter time. Even though we're headed towards summer, it's spring now, uh, you know, it's, it's good to have. I can't open this one. I don't want to open it on camera, but um, it's a little tight. I'm not going to open this one on camera now, unfortunately, but you know the smell. Uh, I don't want to break this. Um, I, don't understand. I don't understand why, but it usually just twists off, but anyway. But this is Tobacco Vanille, one of the most popular private blend collection fragrances from Tom Ford. And most people love it, although there are some haters, and I, I'm one of the lovers of this one. I like it because it's so strong and potent. I almost get anosmic with this one, but people compliment this one. So anyway, Tobacco Vanille. So that's the last of it. Uh, guys, what are your thoughts with this uh, haul? Do you like these fragrances? Do you hate them? I've got a lot of stuff to do videos for coming up uh, in the future. I'm glad to have these, and I'm glad to have a lot of the designer fragrances. But let me know, do you like the designer fragrances? Um, I guess it is mostly designer. Uh, yeah, it's all, it's all designer. Actually, no, there's one more to open up here. Um, one more fragrance that came in. This is the only niche, I think. This one I ordered from uh, another discounter, but this is Herod. Now, Herod is sexy, classy fragrance tobacco, and I've been wearing it today, actually. I had ordered this but I knew I had a little amount of it left and I was wearing it and I threw the bottle away but I knew this was coming today so I had to uh, wear the other one so I can make room for this one because the other bottle is tossed but Herod is amazing it's one of the best tobacco fragrances in fact it's my favorite tobacco fragrance I love it more than tobacco vanille but um, if you don't know Herod please watch my video I shot a review of this one in Paris at the Parfum de Marley Boutique in Paris. And I've been a fan of this since it was launched. I absolutely love it. It just has this like beautiful vanilla touch to it with the tobacco and um, class all the way. And fragrances from this house are awesome. There's a uh, Herod right there. Beautiful. And I actually oversprayed a bunch of this just before and I can smell it on me still. But I'm glad to have this one again. Well, I already had it, but what I'm saying is I'm glad to have a replacement bottle because the other bottle is completely done. But anyway, that's the haul. Guys, what are your thoughts? Do you know these fragrances? Do you have them? Do you not have them? Have you been wanting them? Have you worn any of them? Let me know which one is your favorite, which one do you hate? And I'm so glad to have the designer fragrances that I shared with you. Um, there's a lot there for me to do videos for in the future. I'm looking forward to doing that and doing some great content for you guys. But let me know if you have any of them, uh, what your thoughts are on these fragrances. Let's get a conversation started. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click that bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And other than that, thank you so much. Please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.